wanted to give you some tips because I'm turning nine years natural. Ah! <laughs> it's a journey. If anybody knows, they know, they know it's the truth. So I'm like, ah! nine years. Like, you know, sometimes you get that like, um, straightening bug or perm bug. It could be any year, any time of the year that, okay, you're like, okay, I'm kind of over my natural hair, but I love, I love my natural hair. I love it so much that I can't disrespect it and say, hey, perm, I can't disrespect it and say, hey, I'm a blow dry it all the time or straighten it all the time or try to make my um, coils looser. And I say coils instead of curls because my hair is 4C. If you don't type with the A, B, and C, then type four, but it's the kinkiest of, of the spectrum. And I, I understand how tough it is sometimes with detangling, um, I don't blow dry, I air dry a lot, um, like literally 90% unless I have to go to work the next day, get up early, and it's like, okay, I have to blow dry a little bit to make sure my hair is dry by the morning before I can get up for work. Um, other than that, I don't do it. I do not do it. So I can say 90% of the time... I don't mess with heat. Um, haven't touched color since like well over a year. And then I did a permanent color in January. And um, that was to get a blue color, which didn't last long. Um, I will put the eye cards in the um in the top here hmm. it didn't work that well it did not work that well it wasn't a success anytime from the day that you can kind of get this right off of the rip <laughs> and I mean that in the most humbling sincere way because There's products, there's porosity, there's density, there's there's so many things that have to do with how you protect your hair, how you are going to retain your length to grow your hair, and yeah, there's so many factors in that. For me, the biggest thing was, um, which is tip number one, um, the biggest tip was remembering to moisturize like you might say like how you forgot to moisturize I mean moisturize in general I mean like leave-in conditioner moisturize and seal LOC method LO LO uh LCO method you know like deep conditioning like moisturizing Period. Like making sure the hair is getting enough treatments to moisturize the cuticles to continue to help grow your hair. And yeah, sometimes I've been kind of lazy. Like 2019. <laughs> I've been kind of lazy. So I'm not going to sit here in front about that. I absolutely have. And it's not something that I could say a new natural or if you're transitioning that you should do. Like try to maintain a regimen. Try to be consistent 
in your moisturizing treatments. Try to be consistent in your protein treatments. That's the second tip. The second tip is protein treatments. Whether you are low porosity, medium porosity, high porosity, you have to do it. Period. Like, maybe not a really, really strong protein treatment. Maybe you can use a, a protein deep conditioner and that could be enough for low porosity hair. But I feel like every strand of hair, whether it's one type one to type four, I'm telling you, needs protein to fill in those gaps that are missing in that cuticle to help retain length, strength, and moisture to the hair. Just saying. I, any type of hair. Any type of hair. This is for any type of hair. Any type of nap. Yeah. Um, I just feel if you put that type of energy in anything you do, just like anything you do, whether it's cleaning your house, going to pay your bills, going to work, and you're sitting here working hard on these, these things that you do constantly every day, I feel like you should put the same type of work in your hair. It doesn't mean you have to touch your hair every day because over manipulation is not good for any type of hair. Like if you're constantly touching your hair every day, every day, every day, every day. Yes, to your hair. If you are flat ironing, blow drying, coloring, styling, you're doing too much to your hair, braiding, like you are doing weaving, you're, you're putting on lace wigs. I mean, like, listen, you're doing too much to your hair you gotta give your hair a break sometimes to just breathe and be its normal self and then okay fine you could experiment do whatever you want to do with your hair but i feel like yes there's a time and a place for um messing with your hair experimenting and there's a time and place for just leaving it alone like that's any type of hair i'm speaking on period like trim your hair whether you go to a salon or you do it yourself it doesn't matter really um but it it's, it's it depends on your type of hair like if you're doing the right things in your your routine you don't have to trim your hair as much you can get, I mean, I mean, I know naturals that I seen on YouTube that only trim their hair twice, twice a year, literally twice a year. Cause they do not need a trim every six to eight weeks. That's like a month or two, every month or two, month or a uh, month or two out of the year. I don't absolutely believe that I trim my hair, um, every four months. And my hair is fine. My hair is not splitting up the strands. My hair is healthy. And I'm retaining length. So it's about how you treat your hair. It's all about your routine. Period. Period, 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 blank. Just saying. Like, there's no other way to explain that. And how you do your regimens and how you deal with your hair. If you are dealing with your hair rough. If you're sitting here taking a comb to your root and trying to detangle from your root to your end. Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Like, I, I, I don't... <laughs> I don't understand people like that because we don't have, t like, especially people, especially naturals or relaxed hair that doesn't have type one hair. Like, our hair is not European. And pull out your hair. Don't let somebody over manipulate your hair. Don't let somebody over cut your hair. Like, anybody that you let be your stylist at that time, whether they are licensed or not, they're a cousin or friend or whatever. Do not 
let them do whatever they want to do with your hair. Whether it is color, yo, color processes fast on roots. Dude, I've seen so many videos because I'm a color natural that they started the root and then have hot roots and be upset. Oh, you did me wrong. Da -da -da -da. You didn't know what you was doing. Yeah, nobody knew what they was doing, and you knew better. And then if you know what type of um, temperature your hair takes for flat iron, how are you going to sit here and let somebody flat iron your hair almost 430 and you know your hair takes 320? Make it make sense, sis. Make it make sense. Just, just. And you're not sitting here like, nah, my hair doesn't deal with that. Don't do that, okay? Like, it's your money. You have the right to speak. Speak out, okay? Even if you're not paying for it. Yo, my cousin's doing it wrong. Oh, no, sis. <laughs> you're not doing it right. <laughs> no, sis. No, sis. I'll tell you how to do it. I hope you how to do it. because It will break off. If you're doing too much, it will break off. That's any for watching. And that's my tips and trades on how to grow healthy hair. I'm not sitting here talking about length. I'm sitting here talking about healthy, healthy hair. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.